Mr. President. And I don't have to thank you. You're with the administration. <laughs> he has good genes, though. You know, he's got good genes, right? The Scalia genes. You don't get better than that, do you? Good. Good. Mr. President, on winding down the task force, Vice President Pence said there are discussions underway about winding down the task force. Is that a good idea during a pandemic? Well, I think we're looking at phase two and we're looking at other phases. The country's starting to open up. The task force has done a phenomenal job. We have a, uh, a chart that I just showed somebody. We just got it this morning as I was getting off the plane. Uh, the, uh, and Governor Ducey can explain it better than anybody. Uh, when we came in, uh, ventilators were a very, very big deal and very hard to produce. It's, I say, but it, it is largely true. The complexity is sort of like building a car. We opened up operations all over the country to build them. And uh, we, there was, has been one person that needed a ventilator that didn't get it, which is amazing. And now we're helping other countries and we're stockpiling in case some tragedy like this happens again. But this just came out on testing because I think uh, we are at the point or maybe uh, we'll soon be at the point where I can say the exact same thing on testing. Uh, these numbers we just released. And this is the United States, the amount of testing and our level of testing and the quality of testing. This is just uh, from uh, Abbott Laboratories. This is, you know what this one is, Jim. It's a five minute test. It's a great test. It's something people like because you don't have to go through a laboratory. You don't have to send it in and send it back. And it takes a couple of days if they do a good job. So this is the testing. And the line here is the United States. We're over seven million tests. Uh, Germany is. Uh, at two and a half. Italy is less than that. Japan is down here in South Korea, which we talk about. And again, I'm very friendly with South Korea with, and with the president of South Korea. And he calls to congratulate us on our great testing. South Korea is over here. One of the reasons we have more cases than any other country by far is because we test much more. So if you test, you can have more cases. If we tested down here, we wouldn't have very many cases. You know, they like to say we have more cases than anybody. But the fact is, uh, when you look at these numbers, uh, and this is the official count. Now, I can't tell you whether or not other countries are uh, giving us the straight deal, but I can say that I know one thing, it's only going to be on the high side, not going to be on the low side. So this is the other countries. These are the United States, and uh, it's incredible. Remember this, and I think it's important to say this, Jim, the quality of our test is also the best. I mean, it's acknowledged to be the best. So again, when we have cases, and we have more cases than anybody else, does anybody really believe that we have more cases than China? But they don't talk about numbers like this. Uh, and other countries, but we report everything. And well, don't you want to hear from I, I the just, experts? I just want to say that we've done an incredible job on testing. With that being said, we have some additional, including antibody tests coming out that will even blow these numbers away. But nobody's done the job we've done. But, 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 don't, but don't, you need, don't you need to continue to meet with the task force to get this scientific expertise well, well, on yeah. the uh, We will have certain people, as an example, uh, we have hospitals that we built. We have medical centers that we built. We have people on the task force that focus on that. We have people on the task force that's focused exclusively on ventilators. Well, we have more ventilators now than anybody in the world, and we're helping France, as you know. We're helping France, Italy, Spain, Nigeria. We just, we're giving, I think, 250 to Nigeria. Uh, we have many countries that we're helping, but the ventilator problem is solved, so you don't need that. We have now a different, it's sort of a combination of safety and reopening. So we'll have something in a different form, but the task force for what we've done, uh, I think everybody out there, when they're being very honest, I think the job we've done on testing will shortly be, and maybe even supersede, Doug, the job that we've done on ventilators, which people can't even believe. We had a call the other day with the governors. Mike Pence took the call, and they had, I believe, all 50 governors. And it was, they say, the best call we've had thus far. We're working closely with the governors. They have everything they need. And if they don't have it, and if they don't need it, or if they can't get it locally, and then they know that we are stocked and we are ready and we can have. As an example, uh, we won't need this, but we were ready for weeks to have, we had 10,000 ventilators sitting in various locations with people by the ventilators ready to have those ventilators roll if they needed them in, as an example, Detroit 
or various other places over the country. So I think that as far as the task force, Mike Pence and the task force have done a great job, but we're now looking at a little bit of a different form, and that form is safety and opening, and we'll, uh, we'll have a different group probably set up for that. Are you saying mission accomplished? No, no, not at all. The mission accomplished is when it's over. When it's over, Jim, mission accomplished. No, I wouldn't say that. Advice you need, sir. Are you what? certain you will get the advice you need health-wise, in a sense? What does that yeah. mean? Go ahead, repeat your question. You Are you saying you'll get the advice that you need? In oh, yeah, terms we have of great advice. We have great people. We have great people. Yeah, we have great doctors. We have great medical people, laboratory people. I have to say, I think tremendous progress is being made on uh, vaccines, which everybody should be very happy to hear. And therapeutically, I think we're making very good progress, too. We're making tremendous progress. Uh, we have the greatest doctors in the world, the greatest laboratories in the world. And I have to say, we're working with other nations. Uh, we're working with UK, we're working with Germany, we're working with uh, various other nations who are very advanced and doing a good job. I think therapeutically and also from the standpoint of laboratories, uh, we are uh, laboratories as it pertains to vaccines. We're doing very well. I'd love to see a therapeutic answer even before the vaccine because we could take care of you know, people that have a current, a current problem or dilemma. Uh, but uh, therapeutically and for the vaccines, a tremendous amount of progress. Uh, Oxford, Johnson & Johnson, uh, incredible places are doing, I think, a really good job. And they're very advanced, but we have to now see. We're going up to that very delicate final stage with a number. I think enough, a number of other countries are also doing quite well, my people say. And just so you know, working very closely with other countries, and whoever gets it first, my hat's off to them. We're not looking for first, second, or third. We're looking to get a vaccine that works. And progress has been made. Mr. President, just to follow up on Jim's question, uh, with the doctor saying that there might be a recurrence of coronavirus in the fall. Why, can you just explain why is now the time to wind down that task force? Well, because we can't keep our country closed for the next five years. You know, you could say there might be a recurrence and there, there might be. And, the, you know, most doctors or some doctors say that it, it will happen and it'll be a flame and we're going to put the flame out. We've learned a lot. You know, we've learned a lot about the coronavirus. Uh, we've learned a lot about this hidden enemy. It's a, it's a dangerous enemy. It's a bad enemy. You see what it does, especially for people over a certain age and people that have a, uh, an infirmity. If you have diabetes, if you have a bad heart, if you have a certain problem, it just, uh, Myron, it just goes after you. It's vicious. That's right. And we're saying that people that are over 60, 65, but over 60, we're even saying, uh, sort of, stay back for a while. We recommend you staying back for a while. Uh, at the same time, with young children and children, we'd like to see the schools open early next season and on time. Uh, it's incredible how the, it's very unique how the children aren't affected, but people that have problems and older people are, uh, can be very badly hurt, injured, or die from from this problem. Would you, would you, I just want to finish the follow-up. If I understand you don't want to keep the country closed for five years, but don't you want your advisors to keep looking at this closely the way you well, have? They are looking at it very months? closely. They are looking at it very closely. And, and I tell, I just said it today, I used the word for the first time, I think, in terms of what we're doing. I'm viewing our great citizens of this country to a certain extent and to a large extent as warriors. They're warriors. We can't keep our country closed. We have to open our country. Somebody said, oh, we could keep it for the next 18 months. We could keep it for the next two years. Doug Ducey's done an incredible job as the governor of Arizona. Uh, he, the people aren't going to accept it. They won't accept it, and they shouldn't accept it. We have a great country. We can't keep it closed. I mean, I've had doctors say, well, why don't we close it for a couple of years? This is the United States of America. I created, with a lot of other very talented people and the people of our country, the greatest economy in the history of, of the world, the greatest that we've ever had, the greatest employment numbers, the best numbers we've ever had, the best stock markets. I think we had 144 days of record stock markets. And then one day they said, we have to close our country. Well, now it's time to open it up. And you know what? The people of our country are warriors, and I'm looking at it 
I'm not saying anything is perfect. And yes, will some people be affected? Yes. Will some people be affected badly? Yes. But we have to get our country open, and we have to get it open soon. Uh, maybe I could ask Doug if you'd like to address that point. Well, I just want to say uh, in, in Arizona, we have put public health first. Uh, we have looked at the numbers that your medical experts put 